Hi, Patton. Over Hi. Over here in the front. Oh. To say. Hi. Hello. Congratulations. Thank you. So what does this win mean to you? Uh, it means I get to do more stand-up. I mean, everything that I do, acting, writing, um, e even this, I, I get to do more and more stand-up comedy, which is, is the most fun thing you can do, in my opinion, in showbiz. I'm sorry, that's, but that's really, that's what it means. Like, and, you know, hey, an Emmy winner is coming to your mini mall this weekend. That's, that feels pretty good. Enjoy some potato skins with an Emmy winner. Why not? Oh, hi, in front, how are you? Oh, hi. Um, congratulations on your win. Thank um, you. A lot of people got emotional during your speech. You gave a very sweet, <laughs> sweet shout out to your wife. Why was it important for you to tra play tribute to her tonight? Because the, I, every, every bit of growth that I've had in my career, especially in my writing and in my performing, came because I met Michelle McNamara, because I met and married this woman who just was so much, uh, so much like wiser and self-actualized and aware of life than I was, and, and that I had convinced myself that I was aware and self-actualized and mature, uh, but then I met the real deal. And so <clears throat> I think it's one of the reasons I didn't prepare a speech because I was so comfortable with, you know, when I, especially when I saw Tig special and John Mulaney's and Hannibal's and Amy Schumer's, I was just so okay with going, oh, there's people that are in my life that help me to aspire to something and to evolve to something better. And I'm just lucky to get to have that in my life. So to have that ripped out of my life the way that it has this year, um, it, I'm not trying to say that this is meaningless, but it really does, everything seems like the lights have been turned down 50% on everything since she's gone, you know? I, it's just gonna be a long, long time before I can be the kind of person that she made me ag again. Uh, Patton, right here in the center. Um, are you going to be lording your Emmy over the other people on the set of Mystery Science Theater 3000? Oh, yeah, nonstop. I've already uh, texted all of them. I want the uh, eyes on the floor. Uh, we're on the scenes together. I want my own craft service table. And I want it to have those weird, like, kind of gilded gold raven feet on it. Um, and I want to especially, you know, I just, I want them to, without being mean, I just want them to feel lesser than. Is that, you know, just for my, my co-stars. I can't really see right now. I left my glasses in the bag with my sandwich in it that Jimmy Kimmel gave me because I didn't know I had put them down because I got the juice box. And then I went up on stage and realized, oh, I didn't take my glasses. So you've got to just tell me where you are because I literally can't see. I really was not ready for this at all. My glasses are in a bag with a sandwich right now. Let that be the pull quote, everyone. I want that bolded 16-point pica. Yeah, I'm a font fan. I'll, I'll go Helvetica, I'll go Courier, I'll go Old Typewriter, I'll go Times Roman Unbolded. Oh yeah, no, you know what? I don't care if that hurts my career. Times Roman Unbolded, I'll do it. No, I'm not done. You know what else? <laughs> Copperplate Gothic does not get, all right, fine, thank you, good night.